Here are five tips on how to make the most of your macros in Vanilla WoW. Tip number one, download Super Macro. Super Macro is an extremely useful add-on. It allows you to write longer macros and it gives you access to a lot of new features. The add-on allows you to display icons over your macros. It also allows you to see spell tooltips when you hover over those macros in game on your bars. Tip number two, add the auto target macro to your attack abilities. This is useful for every class in the game. This macro will target the nearest enemy if you don't already have a target. This makes it so you don't have to click on each target manually. Just click your spell and it does all the work. It is also the fastest way to target a new enemy after a mob dies. If you add this macro to instant cast abilities, like Fire Blast, you could wipe your entire dungeon group on accident. I wouldn't recommend adding this macro to any instant abilities with a range greater than 15 yards. Unless you're a hunter. Then you just put this in everything, buddy. We all know you're going to pull the entire dungeon anyways. If you target an extra mob on accident with this macro, just cancel your cast by walking and prevent the accidental pull. If you're watching this guide with classic WoW in mind, this is what that macro might look like in the new retail system. It's a bit smarter because it will actually target a new enemy if you don't have a target, if your target is dead, or you're targeting an ally. Tip number three. If you're a melee class, add this start attack macro to all of your abilities. Your abilities don't start your auto attack until they actually go off. This means that if your ability is on cooldown, it won't automatically start your auto attack unless you have this macro. Also, if you don't know already, in vanilla your auto attack swings are on a toggle. This means that if you accidentally click attack button twice, it will actually stop attacking. This macro is spammable because it only casts attack if you aren't already attacking. This leaves it safe to put into all your favorite macros. For this macro to work, you have to put the actual attack spell on your bars, and then change this number to match where you put it. I place mine on 60 because it keeps it out of the way. Here's a picture for reference. Once again, here is the macro for Classic WoW. This version in Classic will most likely also target nearest enemy as well, though it won't do it as smart as my previous tip, so I actually like to include both in all of my macros. Tip number four. Super Macro will always display the first spell of the macro as its icon and tooltip. This is a great trick that takes advantage of that feature to function exactly like Number Show Tooltip would in Retail World of Warcraft. This allows you to set which icon shows for each of your macros, allowing you to make your bars look exactly how you want them to look. Just make sure to place this line first in your macros. If you're wondering how it works, it's because an if statement will only run if the condition is true, which essentially means that because I've put nil there, which is equal to false in Lua code, it will never actually cast the spell. But Super Macro simply reads through looking for the first instance of cast spell by name, meaning that Super Macro doesn't care whether or not the spell is actually going to be cast, it just looks for that word. This means that we can trick Super Macro into showing the spell that we want. Tip number five. My last macro tip will save you from a lot of headaches. If you're a longtime player of World of Warcraft, you've definitely crashed at least once. You may have noticed at some point that when your game crashes, none of your settings were actually saved. This is because settings aren't saved until you log out or reload your UI. If you press exit now, none of your settings will be saved either, so don't, don't do that. Always reload UI after making a change to your settings, add-ons, or macros in-game, especially if you took a long time to do everything. There is nothing worse than losing hours of work because your game crashed. I actually like to make a macro that simply types slash reload UI and place it next to my hearthstone. This way I never forget to reload my UI after a change. Well there you have it. Five macro tips for vanilla World of Warcraft. I hope this video was useful to you. Please like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I have a couple of ideas for my next video, but if there's anything you'd like to see in particular, I'd love to make that too. Thank you for watching the video. More to come.